too little, too late. So two things. Ote just got off a call and it was someone she didn't really need to talk to. Two things I noticed about it. One, the guy said my pleasure, which that's becoming just an overall Texas trend because of Chick-fil-A. They feel like they have to all meet that community, that customer service standard, which is kind of cool. But someone said it to me at uh, Taco Cabana the last night, I think, or like two nights ago, and I was like, Taco Cabana, please. We don't need you saying my pleasure. We know you don't care about customer service. You can't put a cherry on top of a old piece of pizza. They're trying okay. to be mad courteous. Second thing, the fact that you took the time to say, oh yeah, no, I already figured this out. I don't need it anymore. It's very nice because usually I probably just would have been like, oh no, thanks, bye. <laughs> that's how I end telemarketing calls that I, is it, that wasn't even a telemarketer. That's how I end any call that I I think is unnecessary for both parties. All I'm saying is, well, thanks. No, 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 thanks. So, that's all I say. So no. I mean, so I mean, the whole background to that is that I mean, I'm moving into my new place at the end of the month. And so I thought that was the apartment that I was actually moving into, but it was a different apartment that I had inquired about and they just didn't get back to me in time. So. Yeah. And she, she took the time to let them know, hey guys, no, you didn't do anything wrong. I, did, I moved faster <laughs> I, I than moved you. I moved on. <laughs> that's good. That's good that you have that relationship awareness with everyone. That's good. Marketing. What are you doing with marketing? Um, That's why we. I, oh yeah. Uh, um, so I pretty much like. I'm curious. With I'm, when it comes to my marketing for music, mm-hmm. I pretty much just use my fan base on Instagram, mm-hmm. on Facebook, mm-hmm. on media. Twitter. Yeah, all the social medias that you can think, of, except for TikTok, because mm-hmm. I don't really have a following on there. Do you pay for anything? Do you buy anything? I have not yet. Nothing. No. You haven't bought a single. No. Thing. Not yet. Of advertising promotion. No, not, not a sponsorship. Not not a not a not a not yet. Actually, no, I'm lying. I did buy one for, um, I think it was for resilience. Like I, I okay. had a picture of resilience, but yeah. I, it wasn't released yet. Okay. So I was like, that was on Facebook. Yeah, and it was only oh, like okay. eight bucks. Okay, that's what I want to know. I'm curious. I'm curious what people's but, first buys are. And Facebook, that's interesting because I never really thought about you know people people. Are, are buying Facebook because everyone. Well, see, the thing with Facebook is they own Instagram. So yes. when you go through Instagram marketing, you have no choice but to link it to your Facebook. Mm-hmm. So you actually did on Instagram. Yeah, I actually okay. did on Instagram, but I had to be redirected to Facebook because okay. they own. How'd you like that when you? I did eight dollars. You didn't like it. I mean, because you got I more like than, five followers. I okay. mean, that's did you get likes? Did the post get likes? I did. How I many did posts? How many likes on the post? Can, you got? Let's see. No, you can, I think you it was a video. It was like a view. Okay, how many views? It was like a uh, thousand. Okay. Thousand you didn't views. care about those thousand views? You're like, that's not real. I well, mean, you, why? Because you must have thought they're not real. I you mean, don't care I did. Yeah. I really did think they weren't real. Okay. Because, I mean, I paid for it. I paid yeah. eight bucks. And I canceled it because it was supposed to be like a $20 advertisement yeah. going over the course of five days. But mm-hmm. at that time, I, I realized I'm like, what am I promoting something that's not released yet? Yeah. Because yeah. where are they going to click to? Yeah. So fair, fair enough. You wanted to, you wanted to get more out of the dollar. I think it's cool. I love to analyze that and break it down to see what's going on because it tells us what we really care about, right? Because people were watching it, right? And so, um, but yeah, it's uncontextual. So they were just randomly seeing it. Like, oh, okay, it's a picture. Exactly, and we see ads. Like I see ads from different people. Yeah. You know, so and it depends on your targeting. Did you do any targeting? I did do targeting. Would you target? I did it in a major city. This is getting juicy. I oh, know, right? What major city? I, I do this sometimes. You did. You I did, did like New a York. New York, LA, LA, uh, Atlanta. Okay. Uh, I did Houston instead of Austin. Why? Why did you do that? I'm curious because even me thinking about why I do stuff like that, I'm not sure. Like I like the vibe so, of it. This is gonna sound so millennial. Okay. But I googled it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. I just I just googled. I was like, what are the major music cities? Okay. In the United States, and then top ten popped up, and yeah. luckily I could put ten cities in for targeting. Mm-hmm. So that's pretty much what I did. It was you know the power yeah, yeah. of technology. You have the internet at your fingertips. That's cool. I feel good now because I didn't even Google. It. I just did that because I thought well, people in cities are cooler. But this think about it now. I'm like you know maybe I should target randomly Wyoming. You know what I've, I the mean, weirdest yeah, thing yeah. I've ever targeted is. I think the week before I went to Japan, or this might have been not even connected to when I was actually going to Japan. This might have just been like a random week, but I targeted like this one mile radius in Japan. And I was just like, I want 3,000 people in this. And it wasn't even like a big city. 
I think I, I think it was when I was going because like I realized we weren't staying in a major city for like the first two, three days or something yeah. like that. So I was like, I'm, I want to see if I can get enough people to see this before I get there to see if like anyone like notices me when I like, get there, something like that. But obviously, you know, you'd probably have to spend like a hundred thousand. Least like, 100. I don't know, yeah, like, uh, yeah, at least a hundred or like a thousand. I was going to say a hundred thousand, but you'd probably have, have to spend that like, too. Yeah, you'd probably have to spend some real money to get. <laughs> but anyway, that's the weirdest thing I ever targeted. That's um, interesting. I never. I mean, mm -hmm. I was just always taught to look it up. Yeah, like it's it's there. Something is there. Everything is there. There's an app for everything. There's an answer for everything, mm -hmm. unless it's illegal because you can't find that unless you're on the dark web. But yeah, I mean, stay off the dark web, kids. Stay off the dark I, web. I really don't know what the dark web is. I've I heard never anecdotes. Attempted. Yeah, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to. I think from articles I've written in the past, the FBI might already be on me, so I'm yeah. not giving them any extra excuses. I'm staying off. <clears throat> but anyway, um, very cool. So that's what you're doing in marketing. Definitely promotion. not, you know, not thinking too hard about it because it mm -hmm. can become stressful if you let it. Yeah. And ads. Ads. Yeah. It's just, you know, trying to find the right place, trying mm -hmm. to make it perfect when mm -hmm. nothing is perfect. I like that. People don't really talk about that, like having the balance um, not getting too caught up because it's very easy, you know. You see people yes. that get like burnt out on desperation and stuff like that. It's like you don't want that. That's yeah, not why you're in the music fun. thing. Like make music, and it's cool if you think about it. The fact that you know almost anyone in America can drop a project to and have like two hundred people have access to download that on demand, listen mm -hmm. to it, stream it, engage That's with crazy. it. Why do we take that for granted? Yeah, that's not enough to pay your bills, but it does. It is another thing that's enough, and it is enough for you to have a life as an artist. It is. And I think if that's what you want, then you can have that. Make sure you stay an artist, and then figure out sustainably how to grind and you know get your two hundred based, three hundred yeah. to five hundred to a thousand, thousand, two thousand, I'm there. seven a thousand. million. I'm sure. Having a goal anywhere in the millions, I think, is just bad math. It's bad math. It takes a lot. It's bad math. You should at least divide it by 10 and just try to do that 10 times. Keep going. Do 100,000 10 times. That's at least break it down to that little because I don't think our brain really, we like the feeling of the word a million, but we don't really know how to get to it. Yeah. We're just being mean <laughs> to ourselves. Like, I need a million. I need a million, but then again, I want to buy you? this car. Do you? The behind the scenes of why people have a million is very fascinating. It is because they not only worked hard to do it, but mm -hmm. they were persistent enough exactly. to continue it. And it's a position that they're filling. Anyway, what else can we there. talk about? I just need to be there. I need to be a millionaire. <laughs> that's what that's. All right, that's Bruno the Mars. Topic. <laughs> We got Bruno Mars here. <laughs> Bruno Ote Mars. No, I'm just joking. That would be interesting. So what do you plan on doing with marketing for the rest of your rest of this year? So I plan on releasing. How are you going to spend your next hundred dollars? So that's my next hundred dollars is going towards my high standards music video. Next. And we are having current we're as we speak, having the videographer working on our collage. Okay. We're gonna get a green screen. We already have the concept drawn out. Mm -hmm. I mean more distribution. Doing. What's going to be your next one hundred dollars of ad spend or promotional spend? Because that Definitely. is that, that that does count. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, quality, the content has to be quality. Exactly. To be it has to be up to the standards of your effort. You know, like I think contextually, people because like quality. Anyway, never mind. Continue. So but, as far because mm -hmm. I mean, not only is the content quality, but yeah, you have to consider stuff. where you're going to. Yeah. Marketed at, and I think I'm going to have to go with YouTube because. Ooh, YouTube I'm, ad. That's very smart. For sure. Because I'm getting, yeah. with this video, I'm going to make a Vivo for it. Mm -hmm. Okay. With Vivo, you, you're streaming worldwide. Yeah, yeah. Very and So cool. if I can, I don't know if Vivo has like a marketing mm -hmm. ad campaign per se, but if they do, mm -hmm. I want to do it on their own okay. YouTube for sure. Because okay. visuals are everything. That's very smart. That's very smart because that's one of the best ways that I found because I'm not even looking at music these days. Mm -hmm. And the two ways that I really find music is YouTube and um, Spotify playlists. So, and, mm -hmm. and um, 
Yeah, you do good Spotify playlists. More and more, I've been looking at like this thing on Spotify. See, where even with Spotify, you, they have visuals too. Yeah, they've added that. I've been looking at this thing on the side where it shows you what your friends are listening to, and I'm like, oh, it's not. Are these lame people not listening to it? Who? No one's listening to Kenya. Yeah. Shout out to Kwanzaa, listening to AJR, Sonia Reyes, listening to. It's funny. Some people listen to like old stuff too. Like, yeah. not, not everyone is. I mean, of course, I do too. I listen to, to Sitting on the Dock of the Bay at least 12 times a week. Oh, yeah, for sure. My Some brother, be free. get this, guys. Buko Laditin is out here listening to Sicko Mode by Travis wow. Scott. What are you doing? He's probably running. Oh, no, this was three hours ago. <laughs> He's probably running. Definitely. Yeah, he was running. Or something. Yeah, he was probably running. He works out every day. Good for him. Yeah. It's good. I should do the same. It really is. It, it's really amazing. That's one thing. He's always kept up. You know, he likes to run a mile in the morning. I don't know if he still does that, but um, he does try to do something, especially when he starts to feel even a little chubby. You know, me, I have a pretty high tolerance for chubby. You know? <laughs> yeah, me too. I, and I realize a lot me of it too. is ego. You know, you look in the mirror when you just think you're so beautiful. And I yeah. look at myself, I'm like, can you? Gosh, you man, you are really doing it. You, you, your face is good. Your, your arms look good. Yeah. Your legs look good. You're healthy. You're breathing. You're it's walking. hard to then give up what you want to eat. It's like, if um, I'm killing it, I'm, I guess I should just continue to kill it. Guess I can have a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I feel you on that one. I mean, it's, I mean, it's all about your perception of yourself if you really want it to. For me, it's time to like, because I love working out, you know, and if I can. I really need to put myself in a mode where I'm like, yo, give your. Actually, I think the hack for me is going to be to buy a skateboard. Wow. Because. Is it a workout? Um, yeah, it's a workout. It's cardio, you know, pushing. I mean, I. Okay, maybe I'll supplement with some weights. But, and there is a time because I really do like going to the gym. You know, I just haven't been putting that into my schedule in the last two years. But when I do do it, I do do it. I'm just very bougie about my workout. But as far as being able to work out like in the streets, because. I don't know. I'm, I'm at like a certain kind of age in my mind where I'm not into jogging. Oh. Like I've done it for years. <laughs> I used to jog like four miles a day. I, I was in. I had a, a time where I did four miles a day. But right now, like the idea of going outside, like especially where I currently live, not that there's anything wrong with the neighborhood. It's fine. It's great. But I just don't want to. I don't want to be jogging. But if I had a skateboard, I'll That'd push around. Different. I'll push around. I'll, 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 I'll bust a couple I mean, ollies on the way to. To, on the way to Walmart. I mean, you'd definitely be sweating in the Texas heat, so you really wouldn't have to do that. Yeah, but I would, I'd, and it's like a passion thing. I'd be having so much fun because um, I just like skating. I think skating's cool. I mean, be before I get to 40, I need to grind a rail. I need to grind a rail before I get wow, to 40. I that is dangerous. I, it's, it's really not. I'm not talking like what they do when they like go up and go down like downward on like a sudden so I'm talking about a rail that's flat. Oh. You know, just hop on, hop off little oh, thing. The so worst I do if I mess up is, you know, just like jump off my board. I'm not doing any crazy tricks. <laughs> I think we need a whole segment for casual skaters. I in no yeah. way have the ambition. I hate pain. I don't mm. want to scrape. And I don't think I don't think you have to love smashing yourself into the ground to love skating. I love that those guys do it, that they're athletes. They can. They're athletes. I also can't dunk. I don't dunk. I don't try to dunk. So yeah. athletes do different things because they dedicate their lives to it. Me, I'm out here. If I go play basketball, two points, three points. If Might I make it, I make it. Cross you over a little bit. but If I make it, I make it. I'm more into the points for my music. Oh. It's, um, I do. That's favor money, guys. It's big time favor money. So this is going to be, I think, a chilling with Kenya episode. Let's let's go ahead and cut it down. Fourteen minutes is kind of my average episode length. Where can they find you, Ote? Ote, that's O H dot T A E. Instagram is O H dot T A triple E. My Facebook is Ote, like I spelled it earlier, and that's where you can find me on all streaming platforms. To this day, resilience is out. So go stream it. Boom. <laughs> guys, go follow Ote. Definitely, if you hear this and you don't go follow her, <laughs> then what you're doing is letting her know that there was no purpose for her being on my podcast. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> so please make this a vibe by, if you hear this, go follow her immediately. Hit her up on Instagram. Follow her. Being Say specifically 
See, now you really have to do it because I put it out here. And now he's seeing it. <laughs> so yeah, you now no to one's going to do it and she's going to be like, oh yeah, no one listens to a podcast. <laughs> but maybe it's because no one gets to the end, okay? So don't think that if no one does this that no one's listening to the podcast. But if you hear this, go and comment on her thing. I loved you on the Kenya HQ podcast. Just like comment some more on her Instagram just so she knows that you listened to the whole thing and you and, sure. um, and you decide to follow her. I I'm, I'm actually got depressed now because I know no one's going to do it. So that kind of put, so. put me in a real down mood, but I'm going to go ahead and close it out. <laughs> 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 I'm just joking. <laughs> uh, oh my God. But uh, yeah. Um, thanks for listening, guys. It's Kenyo at Kenyo HQ. You know what it is. Or you don't, which is why I'm telling you. <laughs> at Kenyo HQ, K N Y O HQ. <laughs> And um, thanks for listening to this Chillin' with Kenyo. Um, do you have a website? I don't, not you yet. you have a website? Resilience? What's your most, what's the biggest thing that is going on with Resilience? You want, is it Spotify streams, Apple oh. streams? I mean, Spotify is the main sales. people don't have Apple. How come people don't promote Apple? I mean, people don't think, people don't buy singles on Apple anymore? No, it's more of like, because if you have Apple Music, then you yeah, have Apple yeah. Music. But if That's you don't true. have Apple Music, then you have no choice but to go through iTunes. Okay. Do you have? It's interesting I have Apple to Music, me. though. I mean, my most of my streams come from Apple Music, so mm. I have like 2,000 streams on there. Mm. Plus. I'm low-key thinking we should sell your album on Laddington.com. Go for it. <laughs> Why not? Go for it. I, I am approving. You have my recording. You have it's my recorded. Permission. All right, we're going to go for I it. We're going to go for it. Resilience. We're going to go for it. My EP. I don't know why, actually. Though. I have no real thoughts behind it. Um, <laughs> I just, I don't know. I'm so interested in that. The feeling of the album sale hasn't really been translated fully. I think it still matters, and there's still a place for it, but I, I need to do some more work on it to figure it out. Anyway, I've I'm sure confused anyone who's listening, so I'm just going to end it right here. But um, go. what I wanted to find out was something that we could do for your album that would be really cool, like if anyone was listening. But um, yeah, go go stream the whole album, Resilience. Please. Go stream it. Add the whole thing to a playlist of your choosing or your favorite song to your favorite playlist. That's what, that's that's, that's, that's why the album vibe. are dying. <laughs> yeah, because uh, it makes sense. I love this. I almost exclusively listen to the best playlist that I've ever made, which is this new one that I have. It's like 120 songs on it, and each one is a slammer, a slam. Not I'm talking. I'm talking about energy wise, but I'm talking like these are my favorite all time songs, like back to back. So like if it's the best thing. So of course I listen to it all the time, and occasionally I call it borrowed old. Um, something it's supposed to be based off the whole wedding thing that people say borrowed. What is it, something borrowed? Something, something old, something new, something borrowed, something. something yeah, new. so I call it um like old, new, borrowed, blue. I think that's what's called. There we go. Yeah, and uh, so I, I'll put new stuff on there every now and then. Like old stuff, stuff that people suggested to me, hence borrowed. Um, and uh, and then there's lots of depressing stuff. So I thought that was funny. Blue. Blue, yeah, because I listen to a lot of indie. So there's like a bunch of stuff like Julian Baker that will just have you crying. I don't cry because I'm a man. I'm a man. <laughs> wow. Every now and then I, I, shed a, I shed a tear. It's so fun. Like I'll let myself cry for no reason sometimes. I'll be like, you know what? Let me get it. If you're feeling it, I'll, I'll actually like nudge myself. If I feel it, I'll be like, oh, this is going to be fun. Do it. <laughs> but let's, let's do this. Like we're driving. No one can see us. And if someone does see us, like, wasn't that a cool what scene? Like, is that Kenya bawling down the forte? <laughs> that's, I just saw Kenya. That's crying. like a music video scene. <laughs> right? Oh my gosh. All right, guys. So definitely go stream Ote's album, Resilience. Um, thank you so much for sharing some of your stuff with us here. Of course. Peace, guys.